All right. Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are Good evening. you today? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You're fine. Tell me about your day. How was your day? It was good. It was busy. How was it? Thank you. Good. Oh, yeah. It was good. Excellent. So let's get ready. Here we go. I already have eight students. Faltan un poquito de estudiantes. Remember, uh, you need to write your complete name, your full name. Number two, we need to participate, active participation during the class. And you need to have your cameras on, okay? As much as possible, try to have your cameras on so we can interact with your classmates. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Thank you so much for being on time. Muy puntuales. Look, puntualidad me, me asombra. Estamos muy bien clase. Ocho con dos. Y ya somos once en la clase. Eleven students in the class. So let me access the platform right now. Class, yesterday, as you may remember, we were introducing a topic, the first topic from section number one. What was the topic? Do you remember about the topic? Yes? Yes, it's was yes. and where. All right, the use of was and where. Was and where. The verb to be, the past form of the verb to be. And we were making a practice, an exercise, in which I was asking you to identify the subject. This is an essential step whenever you are going to read or whenever you are going to write a statement. You need to make sure that you understand who the subject is. Why do I need to do that? Because in that way, it's going to be easier for me to use the correct form of the verb to be. Okay? Ya son 13 en la clase. Demo ya entonces inicio. Okay. Recapitulemos. Yesterday, this was the last exercise that we were doing. Creo que tengo aquí las respuestas. Not really. I don't have them. Okay. And I was asking you, can you complete the statements or the sentences by using was or where? What was the first step? ¿Quién se acuerda del primer paso? What was the first step? Find the subject. To find the subject. Number <clears throat> one. Who's the subject in number one? She. Mm. Who is the subject in number two? Uh, eat. Eat. Ah, and whenever we say eat, to whom we are referring to? ¿A quién me refiero con eat? Okay, but take a look at the information here. Yeah. Okay, to the day. The rain. To the day. Okay, the day. Today eat is. In sunny day. It. Bueno, number three. ¿Quién es el sujeto? What's the just subject? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Festival. Number four. It's quite easy to understand. Who's the subject in number four? Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Number five. Take a look for the subject. Trees. The trees. Ah, hoy sí ya recuerda, ¿verdad? We were talking about them, the trees. In number six, who's the subject? It's quite easy. I. I. There we go. Number seven, who is the subject? She. It can be she referring to? She. My mother. 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 In number eight, what is the correct form? 
Who's the subject in number eight? We. 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 That's it. We. We. Okay. What kind of statements are these? Are these affirmative, negative, or interrogative statements? Affirmative. Okay, exactly. ¿Qué tipo de statements tengo en inglés? What kind of statements do I have? Me los acaban de decir. Mm -hmm. Affirmative. ¿Qué otro Negative. statement? Negative, negative. And interrogative. We can say interrogative or question. Interroga. Let me see. Interrogative or question form. Entonces, como ya vimos affirmative, ¿qué necesito ocupar para los afirmativos? Was and where. ¿Por qué? Porque sigo hablando del verb to be. ¿Ok? Ahí está la información de ayer. Let's move on. What do we have for today's class? We are going to have a very similar exercise. But in this case, as you may see, we need to create, we need to make questions. Mm -hmm. What is the main verb that we are going to use or the idea is to use? The verb to be. Entonces, ¿cómo sé? ¿Cómo redacto entonces una pregunta? How do we make a question? If we go back to the information. Mira, si vamos a la información primera. How are we going to make a question? What is the step, the steps that we are going to follow? What do we need to have at the beginning of the question? The verb to be. The verb to be. In this case, was at the beginning or we can have were at the beginning. What is next? What do we have then? The subject. Oh, the yeah. subject. Remember that in this case, we have the subject expressed by using the pronouns. Okay, pronombres. But we can also have the name of people in this case. ¿Qué le sigue después? Aquí tal vez está incompleta la idea, but we're Question going to have mark. was I seguido de un verbo. Yes. Remember that the verb to be in this case is not going to be the main verb. No es el verbo principal, sino es un verbo auxiliar. Entonces, les muestro el primer ejercicio. N number one. No, el ejemplo es zero. We have the subject, your hotel. We have the complement. In this case, good. And if you see, we need to include the verb to be at the beginning of the question, was or were. So according to the subject, I am going to be able to use the correct Hi. form of the verb to be. ¿Sí? Entonces, revisemos la información que tengo. Subject. ¿Quién es el sujeto in number one? Take a look at the information that we have. Your room. Your room. Yeah. Number two. The weather. The weather in number three. Yeah. The street. street. Streets. Plural. In number four. The shops. Shops. Shops in number five. The city. The city in number six. The, the museums in number seven. The people. People in number eight. Your your Perfect. Ya saben quién es el sujeto. Reemplacemos por pronombres. Your room. What is the correct pronoun? ¿Qué pronombre ocuparían? En lugar de decir your room, how can I express the same idea by using a pronoun? What? Look. You. Eat. Eat. The weather. ¿Qué pronombre ocuparían? I, I, you, he, she, eat. Eat, exactly. It's a condition we're going to use it. The streets. Eat. 
Mm. Yeah. It. Not really. It's not it. No. no. Look. Tenemos they. un plural. Exactamente. Yes. <laughs> there we go, Alex. Dijimos que sí es cierto que no es una persona, es un lugar. Un... Okay. Exactly. Pero desde que es plural, what are we going to use? We cannot use it only for singular it, but whenever we have it in plural, it's going to become the same in number four, the chops is going to be the subject or the pronoun that we can use. Plural, miren. They. Tiendas. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? They. How about number five, the city? It. It, because it's singular. In number seven, the museums. They. They. Right? The people. They. It. Pero escuché it. No, ¿verdad? They. ¿Cuál es la forma singular de people? Person. Person, okay, so people is plural. They, your flight in number eight. It. It, muy bien, porque es un vuelo nada más. Ok, entonces ya sé distinguir al sujeto. Perfect, checked. Ya sé sustituir un nombre por un pronombre, ok, checked. So, how do we make the question? We need to have the verb to be at the beginning. It. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta para it? Is it was, was. or where? Was. 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 Right? So, make the question. ¿Quién puede hacer la pregunta? Make the question. Was it? Was your room? Mm -hmm. Was it comfortable? Uh -huh. Was it comfortable or was your room comfortable? That's all right. Number two, make the questions. Primero ocupen el nombre completo y luego el pronombre, okay? Make the question by using both forms. Number two, please. What's the word? Was the weather nice? Was the weather nice? Now, can you make the question by using it? Was it nice? Was it nice? Okay. Make the question for number three. The streets. Where, where is the, the street? Where for the street people? people? Okay. Where? Where is the correct form? Where are the streets full of people? How about number four? Where the where the, shop? the shops expensive? Where the shops expensive? Or where are they? Expensive. Were they expensive? Number five. Was, was, was the city a Saturday night? Okay. Or? Or was, was it exciting at night? Was it exciting at night? There we go. How about number six? Make the question. Everybody can participate. Everybody. Number seven, number six, I'm sorry. Where the museums, interesting. The museum. There interesting. we go. Now by mm -hmm. using they. What are they interesting? Okay. Number seven. Make the question. Where are the people friendly? People friendly. Now using the pronoun they. Were they friendly? Were they friendly? Okay. The last one, please. Was your fly okay? Was your fly okay? Or by using it? Was it okay? Was it, was it okay? See? ¿Sí? Okay. Vamos a ver. Hacer la misma práctica individual. Mario, number one, make the question for number one. Mario Eduardo, please. Number one. 
perdón, perdón. What's okay. your room comfort zone? Wow, interesting. Hey, Alex, Edwin Alexander, number two, please. Okay. Uh, what's the word nice? Okay, thank you. Laura Concepcion, go please. Eh, perdón, ¿cuál era el...? Number three, number three, go please. Um, were the street full of people? All right, amazing. Who's next? Jeffrey and then Norma Elizabeth and then Jonathan Alexander. Okay, Jeffrey, number four. Make were, the question. Yes. Were the shop expensive? Easy. Norma, number five. Were the museum interesting? Okay, amazing. Jonathan, number six. Number six? Yeah, again. Were the museum were the museum interesting? Okay. Did I skip number five? I, I guess I didn't mention number five, right? Let's try with number five again. Cristina Claribel, make the question for number five. Was the city exciting at night? Okay, exciting at night. Was the city exciting at night? There we go. Elmer, number seven, and Stephanie Perez, number eight. Go, please, guys. What's the number? Number seven. Okay. Was the people friendly? Ah, uh, what do you think, oh, no. class? No, uh -huh. no. Were the people friendly? That's it, you corrected yourself. Great job, Helmer. Were the people friendly? Stephanie, what do you think about number eight? How do we make a question? Was your flight okay? Was your flight okay? Look, interesting. So do I have a formula? ¿Cuál sería la formula? El patrón que debo de seguir. How do I make a question? With the simple past, including verb. the verb to be. Yes. Verb plus subject. Aha, uh -huh. we have the verb to be at the beginning. ¿Qué le sigue? Escribámosla. Verb to be at the beginning. ¿Qué sería was or where? Plus. Subject. Exactly, the subject plus. Plus complement. Exactly, we have a complement. Complement. I am missing something. What is it? Question mark. There we go, the question mark. So formulas, was or were, plus the subject, plus a complement, plus the question mark. Okay, questions about this. Pregunta de este ejercicio. Questions. Now, empezamos con toda la clase. If you go to the platform there, you're going to find the same information. Hay un video de esto, I guess, but I don't remember the number. Let's go to the platform. Let's look for that video. All right, this one, este es su curso, Inglés Intermedio Módulo 1. As you may see, this is just a review. You already know these topics. So, the first video, it's going to be about the past tense. I didn't go in the same order. No me fui en el orden correcto de los videos de platform, not really. If you see, this is the first topic that we are presenting. Okay, the use of the verb to be, why? Because today we are going to move on to a different topic. We are not longer going to use the verb to be, but we are going to use different verbs. Okay, so let's take a look at the information that we have right here. The same information. Hi everyone, amazing. by the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. 
where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. As you may see, this is the same information that we were presenting, right? Eso creo que ya lo conocemos. Perfect. Let's continue. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. Okay, let me stop by. Before he presents the information class, do you remember which are the yes no questions in English? Because we have two types of questions in English. We have the yes no questions. Which are those? ¿Cuáles son las yes no questions class? Are these yes no questions or not? No. What do you think? Was your room comfortable? Yes. No. Was the weather nice? Yes. Or no. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las yes no questions, class? All of those questions that are going to have at the beginning, the use of the verb to be. Okay? Vale, dejemos que presente esa información. Excellent. And that will be the second one that you see there. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color oh, this. Oh, you see, in, the same formula. Let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here. Where? And then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, mm -hmm. either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow a compliment, whatever compliment right. that you want to ask. Okay, let me stop right here. Same information. As you may see before, we could go and check that information in that video. We knew it by hand, right? You already know how to use it. Conclusions about this one. I was asking you at the beginning. Class, we have three different types of statements. Tenemos tres tipos de statements, right? Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. But in this case, in this class, we are going to use interrogative statements, okay? Two type of questions, and this is the first group of questions. Yes, no questions. But before we continue, I need to check the attendance list because we tend to forget about that activity. Okay. Here we go. What day is today class, by the way? Tell me about the date. Today is? June 20. 
strain your thrice. Class number two. Okay, here you go. Ana Jamilet Hernández. Ana Jamilet Hernández Martínez. Not here. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. I'm here, teacher. Hi, Cristina. Thank you. Hi. Diana Abigail Alvarado. Present teacher. All right, Diana, thank you. Edma Azalia Marina Peña. Present teacher. Okay, Edma. Edwin Alexander Hercules. Present teacher. That's all right. Eli Antonio Sandoval. Present. Kelly Georgina Beatriz Perez. Present. Okay, Georgina Helmer Antonio Landaverde. Okay, Elmer. Jeffrey Mauricio Guzman. Present. Excellent, Jeffrey. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Here. Okay, Jennifer. Jonathan Alexander Molina. I'm here. Right, excellent. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Okay, Jonathan and Jennifer. Thank you. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine. Laura Concepción Mena. Present teacher. Okay, Laura Luz Clara de la O. I guess she was here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Hi. Uh, there you are. Thank you. Margarita Abigail Tobias. Present. Okay, Margarita Mario Eduardo Sura. Present. Okay, Mario, Marlon Edenilson Perez. Present. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Melvin Gerardo Canales. Present teacher. Okay, Melvin, Norma Elizabeth Callejas. Present. Okay, Norma, Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Rosa Yvette Garcia. Present. There you are. Thank you. Silvia Lisette Melara. Present teacher. Okay, Silvia and Stephanie Jamilet Perez. Present. All right, there you are. Wow, class. Interesting. Casa completa. Bueno, solo Ana Jamilet. Is Ana Jamilet in the class? I guess she's not, right? Thank you so much for coming tonight. Gracias por el esfuerzo, chicos. Okay, let's continue. What has Anna been... is working. She's working, really? Yep. In the okay. chat. Did she? Where? What's up? Nope. In the... Here? Media. Here, yep. Chat Zoom. Oh, she's right there. So thank you, Jeffrey, for letting me know. Casa completa. Aquí estamos. Verbo to be interrogativo. Yes, you already know how to make questions. ¿Qué más necesitamos saber? In this case, you already know that whenever we are going to make questions, it's because we need an answer, right? We can have short answers, complete answers in order to make a statement, an affirmative or neg negative statement, right? For example, if I ask you about this information, probably you were visiting a hotel during vacation time. I can ask you, hey class, was your room comfortable or not? You can say, yes. Or you can yes, say no. Yes, I was. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Bye. If you see, ¿por qué les pedí identificar el pronoun? How? By reading the subject and then by changing that information into a pronoun. Because whenever you are going to write a, a statement, in this case an answer, you are not going to use 
nouns. No podemos decir, yes, your room was. No, we are going to use pronouns. ¿Sí? ¿Ven la importancia de identificar un subject? Cambiarlo from a noun to a pronoun. Because here I am going to use that information. So, according to this, could you please help me out with this information? ¿Cómo escribo entonces affirmative and negative responses? Deme respuestas affirmative and negative. Los escribo con red right now. Was your room comfortable? Affirmative. Yes. Yes. It, it, was. it was. It was negative form. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, no, that's it, was. it. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Tell me about number two. Affirmative. Was the weather nice? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Negative. It was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Number three, make it a firmary, please. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Aha, uh -huh, you see? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Negative form, please. No, they no, weren't. They, they, were. Were. No, they no, weren't. They weren't. They weren't. Number four, affirmative. Yes, they yes, were. They yes, were. They were. They were. yes, they were. Negative. No, they were. No, they, they were. No, they weren't. Number five. Was the city exciting at night? Yes, it's yes, yes, it, it was. was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Sí, it was. Muy bien. It was. it was. Yes, it was. Negative form, please. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. No, it was not. No, it wasn't. Were the museums interesting? Interesting. Affirmative. Yes, they, they was. were. They were. They were. Yes, they weren't. No, they no, were, they were no. negative form. They were. No, they weren't. Weren't, exactly. Affirmative for number seven. Were the people friendly? Yes, they were. Yes, no, they, they were. were. They were. Yes, they were. were. Negative. No, they no, weren't. No, they were. No, they weren't. Ellos no fueron amigables. They weren't friendly. Was your flight okay? Yes, Affirmative. It yes. Yes, 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 it was. Yes, it was. Negative yes. form. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. wasn't wearing a sketch of flight. No, it wasn't. That's <laughs> it. But this is the short form. Como hago respuestas completas. This is the short form. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. How do I make a complete statement? Yes. Si ya sabemos cómo manejar esa info. Mm -hmm. From going to a short bueno, form a up to a complete form. Como la hago completa. Was your room comfortable? Deme una respuesta completa. Give me a complete response, please. Yes, it was room comfortable. Yes, it was comfortable. Negative form. No. No, no it, was. it was comfortable. No, it wasn't comfortable. Okay. I want you to present this information. Whenever you are going to make a negative statement or you're going to have a negative response, Pongamos ese ejemplo. Was your room comfortable? Comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. Sí. En la afirmativa completa decimos yes, it was, que sería la short form. ¿Cómo la convierto a complete form? Necesito reforzar la información, ¿sí? 
es como volver a repetir la misma información. Afirmar. Yes, it was. It was mm -hmm. comfortable. Oh, okay, that's it. Y ahora ya es respuesta completa. But in the negative form. De nada me sirve repetir lo mismo. No, it wasn't comfortable. ¿Qué hago entonces? I am going to stop by. No, it wasn't. And now I am going to give the correct information. ¿Sí? Ya dije que no estaba cómoda. ¿Cómo estaba entonces? No, it wasn't. It was. Uncomfortable. Ok, me encanta. ¿Qué otro sinónimo usamos para comfortable? ¿O ponemos uncomfortable? Ok, just for the example. Uncomfortable. ¿Sí? Se fijaron la forma negativa. In the negative form, I am going to stop by here with the short form. That's it. And then I am going to give the correct information. It wasn't. It was uncomfortable. O tengo una segunda forma. ¿De qué otra forma puedo responder? What is the second form to reply to this statement, but with full answers? What can I say? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otra forma ocupo para responder en negativo? Because they have two mm. different forms. Yes, let me listen to you. No, it was not comfortable. That's it. No. It was or wasn't? Wasn't. It wasn't. It was <laughs> not. It was not. Oh, you can say wasn't, don't you worry. No, wasn't. it wasn't. Wasn't. Mm -hmm. mm. Not really. No. It was, again, I have that issue with this verb, um, come okay. forever, ¿sí? Solo doy la respuesta definitiva. No, it wasn't comfortable, ¿sí? Para la negativa tengo dos formas. I am going to add the short form and then the correct information or the correction. Or I can say it. Lo digo de una sola vez. No, it wasn't comfortable. ¿Sí? Información directa sin andar dando vueltas. ¿Sí? Y es una forma completa. Tal vez esta sería parte de mi short form. No, coma. And that's it. Quedó clara esa parte, chicos. Necesitamos otro ejemplo. Do we need another example? ¿Sí? That is clear. That's clear. How about the rest of the class? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, I really hope so. Ve como usamos muchas formas cortas. Is it clear? You say yes. No, yes, it is. Was the information clear? Yes, it was. So, that is the interrogative form of the verb to be. If we move on, Section number one, it's going to present a different topic. In this case, as you may see, the use of the simple past with other verbs. Verb to be was the beginning of the class, the previous class, and that's it. But right now we are going to cover the simple past by using different verbs. All right, so that is going to be the topic for today's class. ¿Qué verbos conocen en inglés? Of course, in the simple past form. Apart from the verb to be, what other examples can you give me? Yes. Think about the verbs. ¿Qué otros verbos conocen in the simple past form? Mm -hmm. 
a lot of, for example, um, eat, eat. Okay, I like it. Um, drink, drunk. Okay. So thank you, Marlon, for that information. For example, if I say sleep, what is the simple pass of sleep? Sleep. Okay. Sleep. Class. Vamos clase. Dance. 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 Walk. 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 Eat. 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 Okay. Dance. Dance. <laughs> what is the correct pronunciation? Dance. Dense. Ok. Dense. ¿Qué puedo entonces concluir? If you see with other verbs, I am going to group those verbs in regular and irregular verbs. Ok. So this is what we are going to present right now. Take a look at the information that I have here. I have different verbs. The verb walked, played, cooked, listened, rained, ate, and drunk. Can you tell me which of these verbs are regular and which are irregular verbs. Give me the examples, please. Mm, when the bird finish, finish, mm, is it? Exactly, is Margarita. Regular. So is this regular or irregular class? Regular. Regular, regular. about this one. Regular. 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 Okay, how about listened? Regular. Regular. Rained. Regular. Regular. Ate. Irregular. Irregular. Drunk. Irregular. Irregular. All right, bien, podemos distinguir between regular and irregular. Affirmative form, what do we need to have at the beginning? A subject in this case, I am giving you the examples by using pronouns. Pronoun plus the verb in the simple past form. How do I make negative statements? What is this? How do we call this one in English? Did. What is this? Doing the past. It's the past of do, of course. Of, the, of yeah. do, uh, is the, uh, auxiliar. But, the auxiliar. There you go. But in this case, we are not going to use this as a verb, as the base form. We are going to use this as an auxiliary. And as you may see, we have a negative form. That's why we are going to add not. Did not, this is the complete form of even I didn't walk. I did not walk. See? How do I make questions? Okay. Take a look at this. What is this? We already said that this is an auxiliary verb. So what is the conclusion? Do we need an auxiliary verb for the affirmative form? Yes or no? No. Not right. Mm. We don't need an auxiliary verb. Do we need to include an auxiliary verb for negative and question form? Yes. Necesitamos auxiliares para el negative form and interrogative form or question form. Yes, right? Yes. yes. We need yes. to. Ah, and as you may see, aquí divido otra vez. Questions. Las preguntas las divido en dos. The yes, no. Questions and the WH questions. Did I walk? Yes. 
did you play soccer tonight or yesterday's night? Yes, I did. Did he cook for Mother's Day? No, he didn't. Did she listen to music today? Mm -mm, she didn't. Did it rain? Yes, it did. Yes, no questions. WH questions. Where did I go? I need to get information from people or who is giving a response is going to give me the information, right? So that is a group of WH questions. What is the conclusion? ¿Qué podemos concluir de esto? Affirmative form in the simple past with other verbs. We don't need the use of an auxiliary. Negative question form. We need to include the use of did. Verbo auxiliar en pasado. Did and did. ¿Sí? Vale. Before we continue. Déjenme enviarles esta información. Before I will forget about this one. Vamos a tratar siempre de presentar la fórmula, ¿ok? Or uh, the beginning, the explanation. Where do this information come from? And then we are going to have to practice, ¿ok? So, let me send this one. Did you get a picture? Yes. Did you get the picture? Go and check. Yes. What's up? It's, you did, okay. Yes. Bueno, aquí estamos. Ok, continuamos. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo se siente? Easy, difficult teacher. Easy, easy. Easy, right? This is a piece of cake. This is a review. You already know this information, right? Ok. So, as you may see, the teacher in the video from the platform, he was explaining the use of the past tense. At the beginning, he was giving a single example. Where were you born? This is an example of an, a WH question. Here, you have another example by using the simple past or the past tense, but in this case, using the past of B, was or were. And we are giving this information by expressing an affirmative or negative statement with yes or no, okay? So that's it. Information, questions. How about this one? Pero qué piensan de esta? ¿Por qué ocupo did entonces? ¿Por qué no ocupo una WH questions or was and where? ¿Qué pasa con esta estructura? Did you take English classes in Argentina? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué pasa con esta pregunta? Is it a yes, no question? Comparemos entonces. Let's make a comparison. Sí, clase. ¿Qué podemos concluir? Is it a yes, no question? Yes, right. But what is the difference between the first question and the other one? Why do I need to use an auxiliary verb, did, in order to make a question? Why I don't need to use an auxiliary in the first question? ¿Qué pasa, clase, con estas preguntas? Ambas se responden con yes and no. What is the difference? Deme la respuesta. Mm -hmm. The second one have a another bear. Exactly. Wait. How about the first one? The first one is question. It's a question. question. There you go. You seen was and were the past of virtue. So as a conclusion, as you may see, 
Of course, I can make questions by using different verbs. If I want to use the past of verb to be, was and were, I can make just no questions as well. But if I want to make use of a, a different verb, in this case, the verb take, by making a yes no question, I can use the same structure, okay? And that's it. La diferencia será solamente esta. That I need to have the verb, the subject and verb agreement. Siempre tiene que haber un acuerdo, una coherencia entre el verbo auxiliar en la pregunta and the same information it needs to match with the information that I have in the response. Okay? Look, I am using the verb to be at the beginning of the question. I need to use the verb to be in the affirmative or negative response. Okay? That's it. Is this information clear? Quedó clara esa parte, is it clear? Sí, lo que quise resaltar, is it clear? Yep. Okay, I really hope so. So let's practice. What are we going to do? I am going to send you a link. So you can practice by reading this information. But before we leave, let me ask you, I don't know if, if uh, your previous teachers, did they send you this information? A list of verbs, regular and irregular verbs, so you can practice with this information. Yes, do you have a list of birth or do you need me to send this information? Sí, ya cuentan con una lista de verbos en pasado o no? No, no teacher. No, no. you don't really. Bye. Vamos a ir practicando entonces. Let me send you this information. And then we're going to check the platform. Here we go. Where is it? Pre-intermedio. ¿Cuál fue su último curso? Pre-intermedio what? Three, right? Creo que hasta el tres llega. Okay, so here I have this information. Pre-intermedio. Pre-intermedio. Three. Three. Aquí está. There you have it. I'm going to send you this one. Chicos, tal vez no nos vamos a detener mucho en la pronunciation of regular verbs because we were supposed to learn and practice that in the previous courses. But of course, if you need my help with that information, I can also make a review. Okay. That's it. ¿Cómo están con la pronunciación de los verbos en pasado? <laughs> All right. So this is going to help you. Go and check WhatsApp right now. I'm going to send you this information. There you can go and practice the correct pronunciation of verbs, regular and irregular. Ahí está. Did you get it? Yes. Bye. Ahí está. Muy bien, chicos. I motivate you to go print that document or have it by hand in your cell phone. And you can continue practicing with that information. Okay. Aquí va. Se la voy a mostrar. Here we go. Aquí está. Look. Regular and irregular verbs. Solo vimos las estructuras. Okay. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And that's it. Pero sí, me gustaría que repasen otra vez esta información. The list of irregular verbs. This is quite easy because if you don't remember the meaning of a verb, 
you can easily go and check the meaning in Spanish so you can have a reference, right? Or an idea about the meaning in Spanish. As of right now, as we are just covering the simple past, try to concentrate on this information. Okay, because this is a different topic. Este tema viene más adelante, but not as of right now. Section number one, we are just going to cover the simple past of regular and irregular verbs. Okay, and if you scroll down there, you're going to find the pronunciation of those verbs, of those regular verbs. Sí, todos aquellos que terminan con este sonido, if, accepted, counting. Aquellos que terminan con una T, un sonido fuerte al final. Asked, cooked, danced. O terminan con un sonido un poco más suave, pero que sí se escucha al final. Answered, arrived, belonged. ¿sí? Así que practiquen con esto. Ok. What are the exercises that we can go and easily answer the, in the platform? I guess we're going to be able to work on homework number one. Here we go. Vaya, ayúdenme a complementar esta idea. Para darles la idea de cómo responde, ¿ok? What kind of statements do we have here? Are these affirmative, negative, or interrogative statements? Look, I have four, five different questions. Affirmative, negative, or interrogative. What is this? ¿Qué será esto? This is a question. A question. Miren la respuesta, is this short or complete answer? It's complete. It's a very, very complete aquí. Usaron toda la información y luego la corrección, you see? She played basketball. ¿Cómo sé entonces cómo responder esto? Easy. As you may remember, I need to make sure that I am going to use the same subject in the question as in the response. So, did she play soccer in high school? Did she play soccer in high school? Number one, two, or three, which is the correct one? Two. 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 The second one. Two. Why number two and not number one? Why? First is negative and the verb is past. There we go. As we already have an auxiliary verb, didn't, we cannot have a different form of a verb. I cannot have it in the past form. Puedo conjugarlo, so this is not correct. What about this one, number three? Why? This is an incorrect response. Why is it? No, she soccer didn't play in high school. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué no está correcta la tres clases? Why is not the correct response? Because of the word order. El orden no es el correcto. So this is the correct one. Number two, tell me about number two. When did you graduate from college? Number one, two, or three? Number two. Uh -huh. Come on. That number? Two. Why two. not number one? Tell me about number one. Por qué es incorrecta? Because the verb is not in past. In In here. Because that's it. I grew up in Houston, Texas. 
Me está dando información de un lugar. I grew up in Houston, Texas. What is the correct question? Number one, two, or three. Number one. Number one. Why not this one? Because Very simple. Simple. That's it. Because if I have an auxiliary verb, I cannot have a past form of the other verb. I began to study English two years ago. ¿Qué WH question corresponde a esta pregunta? I began to study English two years ago. When or when? when? When. When, because this is asking about time. So, tengo esta y esta como correcto. One or two? Number one. When did you begin? When did you begin? Number one. ¿Qué pasa con la number two? What are we missing in here? The auxiliary verb. Está incompleta. Did you have a pep when you were a child? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ajá, es una yes, no question. Esta es imposible. So, I have this one and this one is an option. Yes, yes I, did. I did. ¿Y esta por qué no? No, I did have a pet. ¿Por qué la descartamos, I, clase? Why? A third answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not didn't. Y porque no hay una negación, ¿no? I did no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ah, no, I didn't. Ah, oh, I bet. send this information. ¿Qué pasó acá? Miren las número dos. Número cuatro, perdón. Ah, era ese, el auxiliar, ¿verdad? That's it. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. 20 out of 20. Quiero que siempre lleguen al análisis. ¿Por qué esta es correcta? Pero ¿por qué las otras dos opciones are not? ¿Ok? Like this one. Because we have did and we cannot have another verb with the same form because I am missing some information. This is what you need to do. All right, class. Damos pausa a la sesión número dos. Comentarios o preguntas. Los escucho. Así, go, please. Sí, ¿cómo se sienten con la sección 2? Perdón si vamos un poquito rápido, corriendo, pero es un repaso de lo que ya vimos y es la primera semana. Llevamos sección 1 y 2. Questions about this. Preguntas, los escucho. It's clear, teacher. It's clear, me encanta. ¿Quién más? ¿Está claro? ¿Es clear? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. Ok, perfecto. Sí, sí, sí. All is ok, teacher. Wow, thank you, Melvin. How about the rest? It's ok for me. It's ok for you. That's all right. So, please. Si voy muy rápido, díganme. Si alguien no comprende, eh, claro, me tomo el tiempo de hacer un repaso nuevamente. ¿sí? La idea es que vayamos seguros de lo que vamos haciendo. Ok. Vamos a vernos mañana y continuar con un nuevo tema. Thank you, class, for coming tonight. You did a great job today. Let's continue tomorrow. All right? Good night, teacher. 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 Good night, teac